Walking isn't only a means of getting around. It is also a metaphor for freedom. Every day, walking is taken for granted. Not everyone in the world has the freedom to walk where he or she wants to, when they want to. Some people rely on others for their everyday transportation. Whether it's going to the store or walking to use the restroom, some people can't do it as easily as others. People are walking everywhere you go, all the time. That sort of freedom is nice, something not everyone enjoys. My cousin was born with cerebral palsy and was confined to a wheelchair his entire life. He was never able to enjoy the freedom that walking brings. Additionally, he wore a more up-to-date version of the artifact that I chose until the day he died. My artifact is a wooden splint for the foot. This is about the earliest version of a splint as it seems to be invented in the 1840s by Henry G. Davis. Davis's splint was initially invented for the hip. It was placed on the foot to stabilize the hip. The splint could be made to fit anyone, child or adult, and was used to remove tenderness from the hip until the limb was altogether straight. In the 19th century, the United States was involved in war. When military members were leaving the battlefield with injuries to their feet or legs, the splint was able to help them regain full health quicker. As I dug further into my research, I learned more about the rehabilitation uses for my splint. Another book written by Henry G. Davis revealed how important the splint was for getting people through injuries and healthy again. Davis says in the book that he considers the splint to be one of the greatest improvements in surgery that have been made in the last 50 years. This splint made the recovery from surgery easier and quicker. As history went on, more and more people were wearing this splint. Arguably, the most famous person to wear this brace was President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. FDR was prescribed leg braces in 1926 to wear because of his polio. The braces FDR used were not wooden. In fact, they were more than 65 years newer and made with better materials as doctors learned more. Eventually, he was put into a wheelchair with the leg braces on, just like my cousin. As for my cousin, walking wasn't an option from birth and no one could fix it for him. For people to have had this invention in order for them to walk again, they should be very grateful. The gift of walking is something no one thinks twice about being able to do. While most people think of walking as a right, I, for one, know that it is something to cherish. That is what the leg praise brought to people. Before, with their respective injury or disease, they were unable to walk and had to rely on others just like my cousin. But with the usage of the splint, they were able to regain their freedom. Hopefully, medical technology will continue to advance in order to benefit others as the wooden splint did.